toilet paper, you know, campfires, just stuff like that. I mean, it's, you know, and, it, and it's sad. New and smaller homeless encampments are popping up all over Spokane and trash is being dumped illegally in the community. The city is expecting to see 33 tons of trash collected by the end of December. Peter Choi explains why people say this trash is a safety concern and what impact it could have on taxpayers. I'm at People's Park, which is one of the hotspots for illegal camping. And Spokane's Code Enforcement Director says they've received 1,000 complaints more in 2023. And neighbors say it's becoming a major eyesore and they're concerned about their safety every day. As far as access goes, I mean, it's the best. Coming to People's Park at least once a week, he says it's a great place to do fly fishing. Brett Womble says lately, there's too much illegal camping around the park. Uh, down Hangman Creek, I mean, there's camps down there all the time. I mean, it looks like there's new camps going down, going up down there all the time, every day. Womble says they're more than just eyesore. Debris, trash. I found needles in the river. That's a big. That's a big thing too. You know, I mean, we have a big community of fly fishers around here. You know, during the summer, you know, someone steps on a needle. That's that's bad. So we do uh, respond to complaints that are submitted to My Spokane or 311, um, and that has been tracking up uh, since uh, since 2022. The city's code enforcement says it's picking up thousands of pounds of trash every year, from food containers to cardboard boxes. Well, it's something that's never lost within the uh, within the department is that uh, that we are aware of the safety that is for the occupants uh, that are, that are there as well. So, uh, so our main intent is really just to try to minimize that. I asked him if the budget for the code enforcement department can change if demands keep rising. At this point, no. It's not something that uh, that in in my budget proposal that I'm asking any, any, any more funds, but that could always change based on the demand. This is a really special place and a great place and a pretty place, you know, and it's it's sad to see it get to that, you know. In Spokane, Peter Choi, Fornish Now.